Today, let's delve into rotor balancing. Imbalance is the primary cause of vibration in machine with rotating parts. Rotor imbalance results from uneven mass distribution causing vibration. Vibration rates from imbalanced mass interacting with radial acceleration during rotation. The classification of rotor can be determined by conducting a critical speed analysis. BNK simply defines that a rigid rotor is one whose service speed is less than 50% of its first critical speed. Above this speed, the rotor is considered flexible. In ISO spec, you can classify the rotor to five classes. Depends on the classification of the rotor, it differs on how you approach balancing. Let's start with rigid rotor, class 1. Static balancing in rigid rotors involves resolving forces and adding correction masses in one plane. Couple imbalance occurs when two equal mass are 180 degrees apart. While dynamic imbalance combines static and couple imbalance. And rigid rotors usually require two planes for balancing. So where should we correct imbalance? When there is a heavy mass in between the bearings, the correction plane will be at the ends of the heavy mass as shown in this figure. Here is another example. For impellers on a shaft at each end, correction should be made at the impellers. For an overhung geometry, of course, correction should be made at the overhung impeller. Let's shift our focus to flexible rotors and their correction. For flexible shaft, start with low speed balancing for static and coupled imbalance. Then rotor dynamic analysis can help to guide mode shape balancing at high speed. Again, mode shapes are key to modal balancing. And balancing plane selection relies on operator's experience and rotor dynamics. Please explore part 6 of my video for more on mode shapes. For flexible rotor, correction plane is shown here based on the relevant mode shapes for the first critical mode. It is important to note that trial masses should impact the first mode but not disrupt the achieved balance at low speeds. Here is an example of the second critical mode. The balancing steps are listed on the right. Repeat with trial masses until imbalance is within the acceptable limits. The goal is to minimize imbalance effect on service speed and overspeed. Alright, this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.